compelled to. Uh, I think it's you cannot avoid that. There's always signals will be stolen, but you know, if you you have to make it compelling enough and that you, people want to watch it on, on the on the big screen and watch it at home and not like invite like it used to be invite party do a party invite friends and have a barbecue and then what do you want to have twenty people sitting around the little little iPhone you know and yeah. watching the fight oh, you know do that. What fighters do you think are under the PBC banner right now that you could see emerging as pay per view stars in the next year or two? Well, you know, I think I think uh, after a performance like tonight, Charlo, I think you know, you have the arena. Yeah, like a bit the bad boy, the bad boy image, and as we've seen, I mean, coming back to UFC again with Conor McGregor, you know, you don't have to only have the good boy. Sometimes, you know, people like to to cheer against the bad boy as well. So somebody like that in big matchups, I think he can definitely become a pay per view attraction. Um, you know, I think Deontay Wilder, the heavyweight champion, I believe that he is the best heavyweight champion and he needs to have these opportunities to go into those big fights against the Anthony Joshua. I think if he goes in against Anthony Joshua, he would win. So I think he is one. Um, a guy which is not under the PPC banner, but who is a fighter which, you know, I'm fortunate to promote his next fight is Mikey Garcia. I think Mikey Garcia has a tremendous upside. I think he can really be the next, the next pay-per-view star uh, bilingual uh, exciting uh, you know I mean knows how has a, has a punch knows how to box it's just like is, is, is ready I mean to really break through so there's there is um, you know there's some fighters I'm very and another guy which I think is going to be the future of the sport um, is Errol Spence you know so so and what we need to do is we need to put these kind of fights together because you see with Charlo Chero that's a dangerous fight and if you have two undefeated guys in the prime of their career going at it it one guy is coming out as the big potential star which he sort of like was before but tonight he really proved himself in a way you know you can prove yourself when you challenge yourself against the best and J-Rock didn't really I mean so he got stopped okay but it's he's a young guy it's a learning experience for him and I think uh, you know every anybody's gonna want to see him in a, again and he'll have another night and that's why it's so important to have the best fight the best and then nobody will lose Joshua and uh, Wilder could be could that be a super fight, uh, depending on what happens? Be, yes. if, if Joshua, let's say, goes Klitsch and go. beats Klitschko and Wilder does his thing, you know, and then imagine that. I mean, this truly will be two young guys, two Olympians, uh, two big guys, uh, two big punchers. Uh, you know, the question is going to be whose chain is going to hold up better. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be like a massive global promotion for the true heavyweight championship of the world. So they are those kind of fights. Because that could be a pay-per-view like yeah. a million plus yeah. type deal, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What's your first uh, congratulations on tremendous uh, first show Thank back? Thank you. Good well, to see you. What was it like kind of being in the promoter seat again? It was great to see you, Mike. Happy holidays. All the best. See you soon. What, what was it like being back in the promoter seat again? Well, it was fun. You know, it was very meaningful uh, to promote such a great card. And I remember Abner Morris actually was the first champion at Golden Boy. And here I'm doing my first show at Ringstar. And the first champion is Abner Morris. And so I'm very happy for him. And, uh, and uh, Gwellar, you know, came up short tonight. But I know he'll be champion again. So it was a great card. I mean, Charlo and... You know, uh, all those guys, uh, Lipinets, uh, Lubin, I mean, all those, just like, it was great fights, you know, it was a great, great venue, by the way, as well. The crowd was really into it, and um, uh, definitely a place to come back to. Charlo had a tremendous performance, looked great, obviously, against great comp uh, competition, but then that thing happened afterwards. What were your thoughts on that whole situation? Well, you know, I uh, saw there were some issues and I jumped into the ring and, uh, you know, calm, tried to calm him down a bit. He was just so excited. It was the excitement, you know. I mean, this was like, there was a lot of pressure on him and there were a lot of people doubting him, saying, oh, you know, uh, he was avoiding J-Rock for so long, and, you know, and so on. And so there were a lot of doubters and I think he proved then tonight all these doubters wrong and it was like raw emotion there in the ring. There was no, like, ill will or so. He just sort of like he was like in, he was still in the in the in the moment 
and I could see it in his eyes and uh, he was like still like ready to go and I was almost scared a bit you know like, I see. but no I, we calmed him down and he was okay so it was just emotions you know which after a victory like that on that kind of stage against another undefeated fighter we sort of like have to understand and then obviously the crowd started booing and you know so he has the bad boy image but you know the bad boy image sells as well look at Conor McGregor look at Floyd Mayweather Richard, congratulations on a fantastic card for your debut of Ring Start Promotions. Now that all that is said and done, how good are you feeling of putting on such a phenomenal job? Oh, I'm very happy. I really couldn't have worked out better. The crowd was entertained. I think those actually next to me was a couple sitting, uh, which was the first fight. Um, uh, Steven Espinosa invited them to fight but they were for the first ever fight and they said, well, we are fans. And I think those who came tonight, I thought that like the reaction I think we would get from all of them. Tonight was really entertainment and it showed the people who has never seen boxing how great and how exciting boxing can be. And those who have seen it are reminded, you know, on, on, on why they are boxing fans. And, you know, I know 2016 some people say it was a difficult year and so on. But nights like that, I think, make up for maybe some of those other fights because tonight was a great night for boxing. Amber Riders did a phenomenal job following the game plan to perfection. What was your thoughts on the on, on his performance? Well, discipline, and it just showed how good Abner Mars is, and our four-time world champion. He's clearly one of the most skilled fighters, and sometimes, you know, there were some flashes where I felt he was going to get carried away and uh, <laughs> almost too brave for his own good. But um, you know, he really stuck by the by the game plan and fought a very, very disciplined fight, which he needed to. He knew he had to because Quellar is a very strong guy, and one one punch can 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 change the game. You had the Balderas brothers uh, here at ringside, you know, uh, prospect signed to you guys. Uh, what did you tell them uh, afterwards or kind of during just kind of seeing the moment of the big fight and, and kind of letting them know this is going to be you one day? Well, they were very excited and they really liked it here and they told uh, they, they told me, well, what, you know, can, can I fight tomorrow? They were they're like ready. They loved the venue. They liked the atmosphere and I think they were, they were very impressed and uh, they met yeah, many of those champions which were here this weekend. They met them as well. So they're just happy and great young kids and uh, one day it will be them. Charlo said that uh, he may jump up to 160 and obviously Triple G is at 160 but there's a man in between 154 and 160 that doesn't have an opponent yet. His name is Canelo Alvarez. Yeah. Who would you want to see Canelo fight next and should, part two to that question, should Charlo jump right in to the 160 mix or take the one like do the Andre Ward round? Well that's really not something I can I can answer. You would have to ask him, you know. I I'm more of it I'm more like looking at it from like what fights would be which fights would the fans like? What would be entertaining in the ring? What would be fights I would like to see as a fan? And I have to tell you with Charlo sort of like wanting to move up and Canelo wanting to move up as well. In a way, they're sort of like in the same boat. Neither one really is like, okay, let's just go to 160, but sort of like thinking about it, uh, both of their names start with a C and end with an O. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, somebody's and you have, and exactly, somebody's O must go. So you have that, you know, and then Canelo likes to fight in Texas. Uh, Charlo is from Texas. <laughs> so you know, so you start road. like you know, I start like thinking, like man, and you know, and Oscar and me, we know each other. So you know, I mean, I could just imagine it would be a hell of a promotion. I think everybody would have a great time. The fans would be entertained, and I think it would be a big, big pay per view. It doesn't seem like you gave that a lot of thought. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking here. You know, and I mean, in a matter of a few seconds. So imagine if I would think for like yeah. five minutes. It grew, it grew. All the shit I would come up with. It grew organically. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys helped a little bit. Is this the type of card that fans should expect from Ringstar coming forward? Because obviously you had this one, it was a great card. Then you have Mikey Garcia, Dijon, and Leo Santa Cruz and Frampton coming up. So should we expect this well, type of card? Well, let me ask you, when I was a Golden Boy, I delivered fights like that. I mean, I really I really didn't deliver many many mismatches, let's face it. I mean, I'm, I had like, I had like Garcia and Matisse on an undercard, okay? I mean, like unheard of. So I like, I mean, I'm a fan. I like to see great fights and I like to get great fights done. All right, thank you guys. Thank you, Happy New Year.